In this video, I am going to give you an overview and demo of Power Query which will help you automate a lot of your tasks in Excel and save time. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. In the demo example, I will show you how to transform unstructured data using Power Query. But before I dive into example, let's first take a look at what Power Query is and its benefits. If you are new on our channel, make sure you click on subscribe button and bell icon to get latest updates first to you. Power Query is an automation and transformation tool which allows you to transform and shape your data. Power Query supports large range of data sources and that allows you to import data from external sources including Excel. It gives you tons of features to clean and structure your data including group, consolidate, join, append, pivot and unpivot data. Power Query is available as download in Excel 2010 and 13 and in the later versions it is by default available as a feature. It is also present in Power BI. So let's take a look at three major steps involved in Power Query. Step number one is extract or get data from many external sources. Power Query allows you to connect variety of data sources and import data in Excel. Next step is data transformation where Power Query gives you tons of features to transform data so that you can clean and structure your data in the required format. Last step is once data is transformed, loading the transformed data back to Excel or Excel data model. There is a fourth step involved which allows you to refresh the transformed data. The steps that we perform to transform data automatically run every time a query is refreshed. Now let's practically look at Power Query. On my screen, sales data for these smartphone companies and you can see that this data is not in good structure. So we are going to use Power Query to transform this data into structure format like this where I have all company names in separate field model, date and those units sold. So we will use Power Query. Before that, let me delete this sheet. First step that we are going to perform is we will convert this normal data range into table. So let's select this data, press Ctrl T and usually we check this box which says my table has headers but for this example we will leave it unchecked. Click on OK and our data is converted into table. Now let's go to data tab to use Power Query. Under data tab, let's go to get data option. And here you can see variety of data sources available to import data from using Power Query. You name the data source and that's available here. So for this example, we will go to from other sources and under other sources, we will click on from table or range because our import data is in Excel. So we will click on this option and it will launch separate standalone Power Query editor window where the selected data will get loaded. This is the Power Query editor window where we can perform variety of data transformation steps on our data set. Under query settings, you can see few steps are by default applied on our data set. So here you can see the list of steps that you have applied to transform the data set. And this is the name box where you can provide the name to the query that we are going to record in Power Query Editor. Let's call it company sales. Let's give it a meaningful name. Now here you can see under ribbon there are multiple options and Power Query provides a rich pool of data transformation tools. Whole Power Query Editor interface is very user friendly that anyone can go and use this. In this example, first step that we are going to perform is we will transpose our data so that these dates will become row headers and these company names will become column headers. So let's go to transform and click on transpose option. Now our data is transposed. You can see dates in row headers and company names in column headers. Next step that we want to perform is we want these company names to be considered as a column headers. So we will go to home tab and under home tab, we will say use first row as a header row. Now our company name has become header row. Now this data looks like summarized data, right? The way we create pure table in our Excel. Now we want to unpure this data set so that we will have only four fields. One is for date, one is for company name, then model and then unit sold. So our Two fields are ready, which is date and model. So we'll select them and I will right click on any of these fields or you can go to transform tab and here you can click on unpaired columns and here you can click on unpaired 
other columns. Same option is also available when you right click on any of these columns. You can go here and put other columns and now our data is transformed. Next step that we will apply is okay we want this field to be called model type instead of product and model and this is going to be our company name and values is going to be unit sold. Now here you can see under applied steps section the steps that we have applied so far on this data set is available here. You can see each of these step and if you click any of this any of this step you can see the code recorded for that step. Also Power Query shows you the state of the data when that particular step was applied. So if I go to source it will show me the initial stage of the data and when I come back to the last step it will show me the data after applying all these steps. So you can see the steps that you have applied on your data source here. You can add them, you can delete them. If you mistakenly perform any step and you want to undo that then you can click on this cross button to delete that step. Now we will perform few more steps where I will extract the name of the month from this date column. So I will go to add column and here I will go to date and let's click on month and let's say I want name of the months from this selected column and you can see one month name column is added where month names are extracted from the selected column. I want year also so I will go to add column go to date and click on year and I will have year field as well. So this is pretty much simple and you can easily use this. Now our data is ready we will have to load this data back to Excel for that let's go to home tab and here click on close and load and we will say close and load to and it will give you variety of options to load your data. For this example we will say we want to load this data in table format in new sheet and click on OK and this will insert new sheet with the transform data. You can see our data, transform data is available in the new sheet. Now let's go and make some changes in the raw data. Let's add one more line item for vivo. Let's drag these numbers to next line. Now our data is updated. Then do I need to perform all the steps again? No. In Power Query you don't need to perform the steps again and again. You can see those steps are recorded. That means you will have to just refresh that query which you have recorded. So I will go to the transform data right click here and click on refresh and boom you can see data is updated. Let's go to company name and I can see vivo company name is available. So this is pretty simple and fast as well. If you have to write down macro or VBA code to perform or automate same activity you will have to write hundreds hundreds of lines of code and it will be time consuming activity as well. If this video was helpful for you make sure you give us a like. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and post your comments and suggestions in the comments box. Also do not forget to watch more videos on our channel. Thank you.